Hey guys, this is Data Gyan, and today I have come up with a new use case that is the customers who never order. This is a question that is running in the market quite recently, and this is a good question on the level of SQL that is being asked in the interviews to judge whether you are aware about the few concepts or not. So this question uh, is a good one amongst those. So for this understanding, we'll create a table that is the customer table. And then we'll create a table that is the order table. And we will be inserting few of the values okay, in both the customer and the order table. So this is the way the table will look. I have created prior to just uh, catch the glimpse of it. So you can see over here and we'll be doing simultaneously. So you can pause the video and then you can create it and we can work it out together. So in the customer table, there will be, uh, there will be two schema columns. One will be ID, one will be name and IDs will be one, two, three, and four. Name will be Joe, Henry, Sam, and Max, okay? Then coming to the order table, it will be the ID. This will be the order ID, okay? So one and two is the order ID, and the customers who have ordered is three and one. So basically, Sam and Joe have ordered. The output table I want, those who have never ordered, okay? So Henry and Max, as you can see, Henry is it, customer table, uh, the ID will be two and maxes will be four. And in the order table, they don't have any entry. So I want the output, just the names. Okay, so Henry and Max I want. So let's go ahead and create the tables first. Okay, so I'm just using the same compiler program is follow this compiler. It's a good one. And it does not require any installation or any kind of the capacity of the laptop. So just go with this. So let me run the query. Yeah, as you can see, the tables have been created. Okay, so both customer and your order table is done. So let me insert the values in customer table. So see, I am inserting four values. ID is one, two, three, four, name Joe, Henry, Sam, and Max. Okay, so it's done. Now let's remove this and come here and insert for the order table, right? Because we need to have some orders on the basis of which we will be like creating a query. Okay, so this is also done. Now there will there can be two approaches for this. Okay, and uh, what happened with me is like, I went into the interview and I told them that I'll be doing it with join. And they told me, uh, don't go for the join. Okay, uh, it's evident that we can do this with the join, but they wanted a second approach and they wanted me to use the core basic concepts of SQL. So I'll be teaching you in that way only that on the basis of how, how basically we can use the basic like in or not in the table or sub queries, how can we run this? And we can uh, like uh, create a small query for this that is without the use of joins also. So this is the output that I have already told you. So let me just break the query one after one and then let's see what happens. So try and understand what I'm trying to do, okay? So I am just selecting customer ID from the order table, okay? So what basically I'm trying to find out is, I'm trying to select the customer IDs, okay? Three and one from this order table. If I run this, the answer should be three and one, right? I have selected this because only two entries are present. Now, coming to the first part, what I am trying to do, understand the query. It will be very easy because many questions can be found on this. So if I am selecting the order ID, sorry, customer ID from the order table, this one, three and one, okay? I'm just selecting three and I'm selecting one. And I am selecting all the data from this on, the, on what parameter? I am just giving a parameter as, the select all the data from this table, okay? But don't select those which are present in this table, okay? So let's see, select, I am selecting name, cus.name, okay, cus being the table. Select customer.name as customers from cus, that is the table, where cus.id, not in, okay? Focus on this, not in, orders. Uh, okay. customer ID from orders table. Okay, see here. I'm selecting name from customer table, okay, which are not in 
the customer ID in order table because this ID and this ID are same, right? This is the order ID. This is the customer ID. This is the customer ID. So if I execute the query, you can see Henry and Max. This is the requirement for us as well. We wanted Henry and Max, right? We wanted those who never order. So which are those? The IDs which are not present over here. So the ID three and the ID, uh, sorry, let me check. Yeah, so Henry has the ID as two, he never orders. And Max has the ID as four, he never orders because one and two has ordered. Joe and Henry have ordered, correct? So this is the way you can find out the scenario and uh, you can run the queries, okay? So just go with the flow, understand the query, and I'll see you soon.